What's going on guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. I'm going to be showing you all where to get the 2076 World Series Baseball Bat, which is a unique melee weapon. Now this definitely isn't the best melee weapon in the game by any means, it's okay, but it's really not that great. It does have a couple mods on it that I'll get into a bit later in the video, but it is pretty fun to use, I will give it that, because it does have a special ability on it that is not found on any other melee weapon in the game, which makes it so when you hit your target, they have a chance of going flying as if you were hitting a home run for instance now you're going to be finding this weapon in the location on the map called jamaica plane and of course i will show you guys that in the gameplay more specifically this weapon is going to be down in the basement of the town hall of jamaica plane now when you first get to jamaica plane if you haven't been here before there's going to be ghouls everywhere and it shouldn't be too much of a struggle for you guys depending on your level and everything you just have to make sure that you don't get piled on by a bunch of them at once as with any location in the game if something like that that happens and you are going to have a bit of struggle you're going to be taking a lot of damage at once especially depending on what difficulty you play on but as long as you guys you know take your time with it you don't get piled by too many ghouls at once you should be just fine now there's two different ways you can go about getting into the basement and then getting to the weapon and rather it's the same way but one of them will make it easier there's two dead bodies in jamaica plains one is in i believe like a church sort of building which you have to jump in the roof of and fall down into and then you have to open it from inside uh, to get back out as you can't get in since the door is chained there's a dead body in there that will give you some sort of a key or a code or something like that which you're going to use while working towards getting the baseball bat and then there's also another dead body in the middle of town just in the road and he's going to have another code or key something along those lines like that and then using those you're going to be able to get into the basement and from there you're going to be able to also get through the traps that are in the basement of jamaica plane to get to the baseball bat easier now I'll point out that it is not required for you guys to get these codes or keys off of the dead bodies. You can get into the basement, however, it's going to require advanced uh, lock picking. So once you're in there, though, if you do not have the uh, the little key or code to stop the trap from going off in the basement with all the laser trip wires there is i'm not entirely sure how you'd go about getting rid of all those i believe you can disarm each of them it's going to take a little bit of time but i mean it's better than trying to run through them all and inevitably getting killed or at least that's what i would imagine would happen then once you're into the next room it doesn't matter if you have the key codes or not you're going to have to try and hack a terminal to basically unlock the door i believe the terminal's novice so it shouldn't be too hard however they're they're are two uh, sentry bots i believe they're called that are on the left and the right maybe they're not called sentry bots i might be thinking of the really op robots but either way you have a robot on the left and the right that will come out after you do try to hack into the terminal to open up the door in front of you alternatively you can also hack the terminal to the right which i did not do in this gameplay until afterwards it did not work as it was too late by then that terminal requires expert hacking and uh, for that you guys are going to be able to disable the two robots on the left and the right so that they won't attack you they're really not that hard to take out though so it shouldn't matter either way once you guys have gotten through the door that is straight ahead, you know, taking out the robots and everything, you guys basically will just have a little button that you have to press. And then once you press the button, that will open another door in front of you. And you will then be in the final room in which you will be able to find the unique melee weapon, the 2016 World Series Baseball Bat. Now, as far as the information for the weapon goes, it has a base damage of 17. Its attack rate is slow. The weight is 3. The value is 325. Of course, related perks are big leagues, which increases melee damage. Blacksmith, of course, being the perk which makes it so you can create more mods for melee weapons or higher level mods for melee weapons. The mods that this weapon has are barbed wire, which makes it so it has armor piercing and improved damage, nails, which have armor piercing and better damage, razors, which targets bleed and better damage, chains, which is superior damage, and then finally saw blades, targets bleed exceptional damage. So that's going to be about it for this video, guys. If you have any questions regarding this guide on how to get the 2076 World Series Baseball Bat, just go ahead and post something in the comments section, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Aside from that, I hope you all have enjoyed the video or found it helpful. If so, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.